So within Polarium, we can use live pages to display a lot of content and we can really get an insight into exactly what's going on within our entire development process. Within here, I've got a change impact report that I can actually click into and see some details. So within Polarium, we can actually see something called suspect items and we can see a list of our suspect items here. What these suspect items actually mean is the fact that there has been a change that's taken place above it. So this is a change impact report to let us know that actually this software requirement in this case that we're looking at has actually had a change at a parent level above. And we can see that this is actually coming from a refining um, system requirement that we have here of our Apple iPad application Bluetooth version 5 requirement that we can see there. We can also analyze further details within here as well. So if I was to just click in and display the report for my ES324, which is a parent level um, requirement that we have, we can actually display our tree view of what all of our different requirements are sat below that. So we can see here the parent level of the 324, how that's broken down and decomposed into lower level system requirements that we have here. And we can also then see the fact that actually this system requirement that we have here has been changed and so it has suspect links between them to the software requirements and the work packages that are delivering them below. So we can really analyze and hone in to make sure that we're always able to see any impact of change at any level. If I click into this iPad application software requirement that we have, we can actually see as well within here, within the work item details that we have, that we can see the linkage within here of our individual item and then the suspect link that we have coming in from above. So what we'd actually want to do then as a requirements engineer is be able to click into that requirement that we have above it and see the fact that actually this has been changed. So we can go in, we can analyze the history of that change. We can see within here very quickly that actually V5 has been added. So before it would have been Bluetooth that we needed to um, adhere to, but now it's Bluetooth version 5 that we can see. And we can also analyze this at document level. So I could view this particular document where the requirement is held in. And we can also then see the history of our changes between the various different revisions over time as well. So if I wanted to analyze a change from our current revision to what we have previously, I could run that comparison to see again the trackable, traceable history of every single change that's taken place at document level as well. So we can see red for removed, green for added and blue for any format changes within there. So we can see some of this contents changed within here. And we can also then see that, yep, yeah, indeed, our V5 has also been added. So we have the impact of change across our individual requirements, our work items within that. But we, of course, then have the impact of change for code sets as well. So Polarian can actually integrate two code repositories, such as Git, Subversion. And within there, we can actually then have a traceable tree view approach to be able to see exactly what requirements are met with the code and the commits that are included as well. So we can see within here some of the tree view approach of how our epics are broken down into user stories and so on and decomposed down further. But we can also then start to see as I scroll down that we've also then got our requirements, but we can also then see we've got individual revisions that are associated with the change resources that are associated to a particular task. So again, if I was to just click into this particular example, I can see the change resource and I can see it side by side as to exactly what has changed within the content of in this particular case, um, some code set that we've got there as well. And we can see that in this case, it was just a comment that had been added within there. So we can see and analyze everything that's going on within the repositories. So because of this, we can then ensure that Polarin is bringing some real value to your organizations to ensure that nothing's ever missed in terms of revision content changes to the individual code sets, but also then individual changes to perhaps the requirements as well. And we can develop this further by having perhaps requirements that are linked to standards within organizations of any standards that you need to adhere to as well. So we can then see if that standard changes the impact to those perhaps requirements that are also then um, meeting those particular standards.